In this video, we are going to discuss about cyclic redundancy check. In short, we can call it as CRC. CRC is mainly useful for error detection in data link layer. Generally, we know that uh, sender sends a message to the receiver, but there is a possibility that uh, some of the data may be lost in the corresponding message. In that occasion, how the receiver will detect the error? In order to detect the error, mainly we have two approaches are there. In this video, we are going to discuss about cyclic redundancy check. Uh, in the upcoming video, we will we'll see about uh, parity check method that is also useful for uh, error detection process. Okay. Uh, let us see about uh, what is CRC. So CRC means cyclic redundancy check. Uh, in this example, we have a frame. So this is nothing but uh, the message. Uh, the sender wants to send this message to the receiver. Uh, but there is a possibility that uh, some of the data of the message may be lost due to any error, due to some uh, noise, uh, some of the bits may be lost. So in that occasion, the receiver will check whether that is the correct message or not with the help of the CRC approach. Uh, now let's see here, this is nothing but frame or the message. So this is the frame here and this is nothing but CRC generator and generator is nothing but uh, this is nothing but division. The size of the division is 5 bits here. Uh, here at the sender side, uh, what we have to do is uh, we have to perform division operation on the division and the dividend. So here division is nothing but 10011. So this is nothing but CRC generator. Whereas dividend is nothing but the frame or message that we want to send. Okay. Uh, so after performing the division operation, we will get some reminder, okay? We will get some reminder. Uh, so what the sender will do is, sender will append that reminder to the frame and uh, sends that message to the receiver. Now at the receiver side, uh, uh, at the receiver side, receiver performs division operation on this generator or division and the new frame. So what is the new frame? The same message only, but in addition to that, it has it has the corresponding reminder value. Okay, the corresponding reminder value at the receiver side. Uh, if receiver got reminder as zero, then we can then receiver can knows that uh, it is the correct message. Uh, so there is no problem. Suppose if the receiver didn't get the uh, reminder as zero, then it sends an acknowledgement to the sender that uh, please send that message uh, one more time okay so this is the approach here uh, so initially here uh, we have to determine the size of the generator or size of the division here size of the division is 5 bits so we have to add 5 minus 1 that is nothing but 4 zeros so we have to add 4 zeros to the frame okay we have to add 4 zeros to the frame so let us do that so what is the message now? 1101. So 1101. 01. 110101. 01, 01, 01. Next 1011. So 1011. So this is the frame or message. Sender wants to send this to the receiver. So what we have to do? In addition to the message, the sender has to add four zeros to the message. Why? Because the size of the generator is 5 bits. So 5 minus 1 means 4 bits. Okay. So the sender has to add 4 zeros to the message. So sender will add 4 zeros to the message. 4 zeros to the message. This is nothing but dividend value. Whereas what is the division value? This is the division value. So 1 double 0 double 1. 1 double 0 double 1. Now simply we have to perform the division operation. So here what is the most significant bit value? Uh, 1. Okay. So we have to perform multiplication with 1. So 1 double 0 double 1. So next we have to perform the subtraction operation. Here the subtraction is nothing but uh, exclusive or operation only. We know what is exclusive or operation. If both the bits are same, the result is 0. Whereas if both the bits are different, the result is 1. Okay. 
So here what are the here zero zero both the bits are same. So result is zero. One one zero zero one one both the bits are same. Result is zero. Here one one both the bits are same. Result is zero. Okay. Next here one zero both the bits are different. Result is one zero one both the bits are different. Result is one. Ah uh, here uh, we should not consider leading zeros here. We should not consider zeros here. Ah uh, here uh, the most significant bit. Should always start from one only. Okay, here before this one we have a, a leading zero, so we have to omit this one. Okay, uh, so next we have to. We have got is the size of the division, five bits. Whereas here we have only four bits are there. So let us take the next bit from the message that is one. So here what is the first bit one. So one double zero into double one is nothing but one double zero double one. Here there is uh, no need of any quotient. There is no need to write any quotient here. Why? Because our main target is finding out the remainder here. Okay. Uh, so here all the bits are same. One one means zero. One one means zero. Zero zero zero. Because both the bits are same. If both the bits are same, the result is zero only. Here all are zeros only. All leading symbols are zeros only. So we have to omit all the zeros. Why? Because the most significant bit, the leading bit, should always starts from one in the message. Okay. So we have to copy the next five bits. Why? Because the size of the division is five bits. Okay, so copy this one one. So copy this one zero. Copy this one one. So copy this one one four bits. Next copy the next bit. Okay, that is zero. So one zero double one zero. Okay, so one into one double zero double one is nothing but one double zero double one. One double zero double one. Next we have to perform the exclusive or operation. So first check whether any bits are same or not. Here one one both the bits are same. If both the bits are same, the result is zero. Next to zero zero, both the bits are same. Result is zero. Next remember here also one one both the bits are same. Result is zero. Next to one zero different. So result is one zero one different. So result is one. Okay. So here we have two zeros. Here we have two leading zeros. So we have to reject these two zeros. So next we have three bits only. But here what is the size of the division? Five bits. So we have to take Two more zeros from the messages. So copy these two bits here. Okay. Next here, the most significant bit is one. So one into one double zero double one. One double zero double one. So next to perform the exclusive operation. Here both the bits are same. If both the bits are same, the result is zero. Next here both the, here all the bits are different. So one one one. So we have to ignore these two zeros. So next what is the next bit here? So the next bit is. Uh, The next bit is zero now, so the next bit is zero now. So now this dividend contains. I am sorry, this is nothing but the remainder. So remainder contains how many bits? The remainder contains four bits now. Whereas what is the size of the divisor? The size of the divisor is five bits. So that means divisor has larger value than this message. So no subtraction. That is exclusive or no subtraction is not possible here. Why? Because divisor is larger than the message. So here. So here we got CRC, CRC bits. So what are the CRC bit? Three double one zero. Okay. Now we have to append this three double one zero to the message and transmit that message to the receiver. Okay. So at the receiver side, what we have now? So let us do the proceedings at the receiver side. So now we are doing at the receiver side. So at the receiver side, same. What is the message? One one. Zero one, zero one, zero one, one zero double one. Okay, but previously we have appended four zeros at the sender side in order to find out the remainder. Now in place of those four zeros, we have to append these four bits. Three double one zero. We have to append the remainder. So three double one zero. Okay. Next here, the division, the division or generator must be same only. Initially, both the sender and the receiver will share the division value or generator value. The value should be same at both sender and the receiver side. So here, what is the division value? One double zero double one. So if we got remainder as zero, then the receiver will conclude that sender uh, there is no error in the message. The message is the correct one. Okay. Suppose if the receiver didn't get uh, remainder as zero, then it comes to know that there is some error. So it asks the sender to transmit that message one more time. Okay. So here, um, 
the, the most significant bit is 1. So 1 into 1 double 0 double 1. Okay. Uh, next to perform the exclusive or operation. Here both the bits are same. Result is 0. Here both the bits are same. Result is 0. Both the bits are same. Result is 0. Next here different. 1. So different 1. Okay. So always we have to ignore uh, 0 here. The leading zeros are always ignored. So here we have 4 bits. So we have to copy the next bit. Why? Because the size of the division is 5 bits. Okay. Next here. 1 into 1 double 0 double 1. That is nothing but 1 double 0 double 1. Here all the bits are same only. So the result is all zeros. So next we have to copy the next 5 bits from the basis. So 1 0 1 0 3 1. Okay. 1 0 3 1. So copy this message. Now, now we have to ignore all these zeros. Okay. So 1 into 1 double 0 double 1 is nothing but 1 double 0 double 1. So now perform the exclusive or operation. So both the bits are same, 0. Both the bits are same, 0. Here also both the bits are same, 0. Here also both the bits are same. Result is 0. Here 1 plus 0. Both the bits are different. So 1. Okay. So next what we have to do? We have to ignore the leading two zeros. Here, here we have 3 bits in the division. So we have to copy the next two bits. So the next two bits are 1, 1. So copy these two bits. So here the most significant bit is 1 only. So 1 into 1 double 0 double 1 is nothing but all zeros only. All zeros only. Next we copy the next bit. Here we got the remainder as 0. So now the receiver knows that there is no error in the message. Okay. So in this way we can use cyclic redundancy check in order to know whether there is any error or not. So it is mainly useful for error detection only. Error correction is not possible with cyclic redundancy code. In order to do the error correction, we have to do, we have to use some other approaches. We will discuss those in the upcoming videos.